idea is nothing else other than that until you put it on paper, then it becomes mm -hmm. tangible. So to that point, you can ball it up, throw it in the trash, and say forget about it, and you can keep marching with it. But it's totally up to each individual. Um, the next thing I want to say is, when you decide that you want to pursue whatever venture it is that you want to get into, whether it's hydroponics with uh, vegetables, or if it's swine, or lamb, or goats, anything of that magnitude, you have to know that regardless of what anyone tells you, that's what you want to do. You're going to make it work. You know? It's going to be a lucrative investment. And so, as I go through the slides, you know, any questions will take like a second to actually try to answer them, but I know we're kind of tight on time. So, the first question we come to is um, who is or what is Master Blend Family Farms? And so, Master Blend Family Farms is a certified all natural swine operation located in Keenesville, North Carolina. Um, and I use the term certified because, so we're affiliated with Animal Welfare Group, which is very important to give you the competitive edge when you're trying to get into a market. And then the, the next thing that comes with it outside of that is the credentials. So like individuals that are still in college, um, the leadership program, that's stuff that you want to have on your resume whenever you're sitting down and negotiating terms. Because it, you know people want to know, they want to feel confident that you know what you're talking about, okay? Um, so our value-added pork products is distributed across um, southeastern North Carolina. And I take pride in that because one of the markets that I uh, originally took on, you know, it's, so, so let me describe it like this. So we had this table up front, and it was a long table. You got chefs on each side of the table. And so I'm going in, and I'm like, look, I want to provide you guys with product. And the chefs on each side of the table, they start firing questions at you. And you got to know what you're talking about. You know, they say, well, look, we'll give you a shot to provide one pig a week. Can you consistently provide that one pig a week? Okay. If we throw a surprise in there and say, well, look, we need 10 or we need five, can you do that? Can you always be on guard? Can you always answer your phone whenever they say they want? The next thing that came into the equation was, okay, so we'll give you a shot since you just getting started, so you were rookie. That's basically the term that was put on me. Um, but then it was like, you gotta show progress. You know, you gotta show that you can manage the assets or the revenue that you generate to put into more assets that you need in order to, to build your relationship with us. Okay, and so um, that was very important because if you couldn't fulfill your end of the bargain, we don't want to hear what you got to say because there's a million other guys trying to do the same thing you're doing, okay? Um, and the other component that made us unique from everybody else was we put a general store on the farm. And that was unique because as I started uh, appearing at farmer's market and uh, other little uh, venues and whatnot, um, the questions started firing. So do I have to buy a whole pig? Can I just get half? Can I get a quarter? Can I just get the ribs? Can I get the chops? So I sat down with my team and I was like, look, we got individuals asking in the community and in other counties, you know, can they just get a cut instead of the whole thing? And I'm going to be straight up with you guys because um, it's not, I'm not going to give you a glamour field story. I'm going to just give it to you cut and dry. So um, I had individuals that I felt confident that I could go to and say, look, if you put in, I'll match what you put in. So like I got a sister, she's an attorney. And I was like, look, if you put 10 in, I'll put 10 in, it'll work. She's like, you've lost your mind. You know what I mean? And I was like, well look, everybody gonna eat. And it's about the movement of healthier eating anyway. Mm -hmm. So no growth hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics. That's the other thing that makes Master Blend Family Farm so unique. No growth hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics. Master Blended Family Farms, our mission, we want to consistently be able to produce high quality <coughs> premium products all the time, year round. In spite of the hurricanes that you encounter, in spite of diseases and epidemics that you encounter, um, I don't know if you guys caught up um, or was keeping up with what was going on with this epidemic called PED mm -hmm. that had hit Smithfield Foods and the other integrators. So, 
we actually had um, the extension agents coming out to the farm. They were taking samples, you know, blood and all this stuff. And they're like, how did you dodge the bullet? Well, the unique um, component of our master blend was our hogs were down in the woods. So there's a natural canopy. And as they kept doing research, they learned that the epidemic was airborne. Okay, so the blessing in that, because I had my lottery load on the line. So the blessing with that was the trees were blocking the animals. Mm -hmm. Okay, and over time, as everybody else was falling short, we kept on pushing. So that allowed us to t uh, tap into other markets. Okay. Um, and then as far as the genetics, we take pride in being number one in Duplin County with the genetics. Um, all of our breeding stock was shipped in out of Iowa, Ohio, Tennessee. So all of the um, production styles, all of the boars, the terminal boars, they're all registered. So we know the background, we know the back fat, so we can measure the quality of the pork loin, tender loin, and stuff like that. Our market summary, and this is just to give you an idea of some of the individuals that we're affiliated with. Um, so you point out West End. I mean, are you point out Woodfield? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we've been blessed to be able to provide product to Woodfield Barbecue. Um, so the initial day, the, the grand opening, we were there. Right. And, um, and the cool thing about Mr. Whitfield, because he was dealing with issues on how to market right. his, his brand, exactly. um, the, the unique thing that, that I had with him was I was able to share ideas on how to make yourself, you know, uh, competitive again. Because you got so many people doing barbecue, mm -hmm. but is the barbecue good? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Right. Well, then it went a step further as far as saying, okay, well, you got good bar barbecue, but what else separates you from it? So you're always picking up your armor. Building it up, you know what I mean, no matter what. And so he was able to take pride in joining with us to say, well, look, my eyes raised on the ground is coming from Master Blint. Mm -hmm. You know, and I in turn always bounce that back to him. You know, I, my thing is if I build up my individuals that I supply to, then we're gonna be at it. Mm -hmm. So so I want to say one other thing. As you're building your models and your business, your businesses and your farms, so you get a pot, you know. And a lot of people are always thinking, well, if I get all of this and put it in my pocket, then it's always mine. Well, see, the way this thing works, for you to sustain yourself and have longevity, you give those that help you work, you give them a piece of that pot. You guarantee them a piece of that pot. Okay, and with you always giving back, it always comes back. And even if it doesn't, you still got your reward. And that's for another day on the other reward. Um, and then Harris Teeter is a uh, project we've been working on now for about a year. Um, so they gave us a list of about 10 to 12 different items that they wanted us to meet in order to be able to get the product in the store. And uh, so we got about nine of them out the way, three more to go. And, um, but that's gonna happen, that's called faith. Cause you gotta have faith in order to be in farming. You know, you praying, oh please give me some rain. Oh, please hold the brain. <laughs> and and I, I'm just telling you like it is. Okay, you, you have, when no one else believes in your idea, you still got to know your idea is going to work. Okay, now in doing that, you're going to have to sacrifice. So there's times you're going to want to go and get a new watch or a new car or go to dinner. Okay, well, you can send everybody else, but you're going to have to stay and manage your operation. That's just how it works. And eventually to get to a point where that season ends, and then you can step out for a moment, you know what I mean? So, like I said, I want to give it to you cut and dry so you know the real. Where's the pit at? Where's the pit at? The pit, where's the pit at? So you got the pit in Raleigh and the pit in Durham. Oh, both of them are- um, that The pit master? Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, okay. um, both of them are affiliated with Empire Eats, which is an organization yeah. that owns like real, real estate as well as um, a chain of different restaurants. And he did the genetics on his uh, pork, uh, pork, the uh, pit master. Yeah, he did the genetics for his uh, pork. No, he got his own, um, he got his own project. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah. All right. Matter of fact, we were talking on the way up here. Oh, really? Okay. Yes, sir. So, this section, is that the one in Wallace? So, we have Wallace, we have Warsaw, and we have Flint. Okay.
I felt it was important to let you guys know about the competitive threat side for my particular organization, and that way you guys can evaluate the threats that's involved with what you have going on. Because you got farmers up the road that's trying to do the same thing you're doing, so you gotta master your skill, and then if it gets to the point where you can network, that's in your favor. But you know what I'm saying, just, just wanted to let you guys know about it. Um, the large pork producers, so like Smithfield, um, Premium Standard, um, Goldsboro Milling, those guys. And then, of course, because they can produce more volume, they can give a better price. Okay, so that's something you kind of want to be aware of. And, um, and then the fact that large producers want to switch to premium, so we got to meet with that. As far as, um, and again, as far as the competition, so you have Jimmy Dean, Frank Fork, and all those other guys. Well, in order for me to have the competitive edge, you know, I want to be animal welfare. <coughs> and with that organization, the farm gets out of it uh, once a year, and then the USDA comes in and off to audits, just to make sure you're in compliance with what you're claiming. Okay, that's really important. Um, becoming non-GMO certified, so you guys already know everybody's trying to be gluten-free, non-GMO, all of that good stuff, which um, on the tail end, it helps you out as far as like with the doctor. You don't have to go see him because you're good. You're eating good stuff. Um, and then yeah, and then as far as be inspired, that's like my motto. You know, I just always be inspired with what's going on. So, the goals and objectives. So, my number one, um, my number one deal is always to keep the confidence of my buyers. You know, whether that's one individual that's only spending three bucks, or those guys that's spending three, four thousand dollars a week. Okay, as long as I can always render what they're asking in a timely manner. I mean, it don't matter when they call, you make it happen. You know, like split decision. Um, this this uh, PDF that we're looking at is a magazine we were featured in. And um, like that was a highlight because I didn't really think we were going to be in it. I didn't really take it serious. And uh, they just showed up one day. Um, but I always want to bring an affordable, high quality pork product. So in that regard, um, I pay attention to what my competition is doing. And then I purposely go under just cause. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times in farming, volume is king. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then you still pay attention to that margin because it's. Itty bitty teeny tiny, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And everything counts, and believe that everything counts. Um, and then the last one is self explanatory. We will market our products to commercial suppliers and individual consumers, you know. So we're always looking for a new market, even though we have 10, we supply now 10 restaurants. Okay, we're still looking for the next one. Okay. So this is my team. Then one of my bosses, in the top right, you have my father-in-law and my grandpa. Mm -hmm. And the cool thing about them gentlemen there was 84 and 87, do I need to say anymore? Mm -hmm. they, they've seen everything that I can tell you guys about. Mm -hmm. You know, and they've got the short end of the stick. Mm -hmm. and we laugh about that, mm -hmm. okay? Um, to the love of high, that's my mother-in-law. So the cool thing about her is, well, let me, let me say this first, let me digress. So my father-in-law and my mother-in-law, they both have phenomenal, phenomenal careers. Um, he was a 35-year financial advisor, she was a school teacher, okay? And the cool thing about them is they tight on the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so I can say, Ma, I want that. And her thing is, you can get it if you want it. I'm going to let you get it. But you better do what you say you're going to do. You better make that money up. Because at the end of the day, it's about the dollar bill. And that's just me being honest. My, my wife right here at the bottom left, you see her standing beside um, Mr. Wendell Murphy from Smithville. Um, he's the founder of Murphy Farms. And then Dr. McCoy from... Um, James Front Community College. And the cool thing about those individuals, all right, so the wife, 
okay, it's just always grindstone. Like, look, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that, so that's cool. Um, and then she's my IT person. Um, and then Mr. Wendell Murphy, he's an awesome mentor. Um, if I call him, he'll make an, I can make an appointment. We can cut up and we can talk. And then Dr. McCoy's inspiration. Um, Mr. Steve Troxler, very impactful young man. <laughs> um, every time I've had a chance to talk to him, he'll purposely take out a few seconds to hear what I gotta say. And I think that's cool when you got a man like that wearing a big hat. You know what I mean? Because he plays a big role in, um, in North Carolina agriculture. Um, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of intel about the master plan side as far as awards that we have uh, achieved. Um, the biggest honor out of everything that you see was the Martin Luther King Award. And it was cool because um, Dr. Million allowed us to go up to the, the, what, the African American Museum. In DC. Mm -hmm. And I think that all of you guys, if you've had children, grandchildren, anything of that magnitude, you need to make them go. Mm -hmm. It's important to know where you come from. And I know that's not what the presentation is supposed to be about, but you need to know your roots and you never forget your roots and you tell the kids and the next kids about your roots because they need to know. You know, with everything going on in society, it's like it's transparent, it's right there in your face. But you gotta know how to maneuver around the challenges with that. Um, the small business challenge that was held at James Front was another topic that I didn't really take serious because I knew um, the politics that might be involved with. So I got, whenever the original